Hi. Python is one of the most popular programming languages in the world right now. It's used from everything from data analysis and visualization to artificial intelligence and machine learning. But it can also be used for data acquisition. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. At NI, we have a very large variety of different data acquisition systems, from plug and play DAC devices to flexible, scalable uh, DAC systems. But all of this is controlled using DACMX, an instrument driver that controls everything from the configuration to the programming to the actual low-level uh, operating system and device control. Well, with the Python DACMX API, you can control all of this using Python. And the best part is it's completely free. So if you or your team are using Python, or if you just have Python experience, or even just a desire to learn, uh, you can build your own uh, professional level data acquisition system. And since DACMX has functions that make all the things that you see on this slide very easy and simple, you can quickly start taking measurements from thermocouples or strain gauges, accelerometers, without having to have a large amount of, of technical experience or knowledge. And uh, let's talk about some of the other benefits of using NI for data acquisition. One of them is what I mentioned before. We just have such a large range of data acquisition devices that we can meet most budgets and use cases. The next thing is we just have a huge amount of documentation, like some technical resources and getting started guides, demos, documentation. All of this will help you get started faster and meet your goals. And then finally, if you do have an issue um, or start running into to trouble, you can always reach out to our world-class technical support team who will help you get back on track. So if you're interested in giving this a try, uh, in the description I have a link to a knowledge base article which walks you through everything you need to get started and test out to make sure it's working. Uh, but the basics of it are uh, you're going to download and install Python, obviously. Uh, and then you'll need to download and install the DACMX driver, which again is completely free. Uh, and then you'll just use uh, pip install or um, easy install to install the uh, NI DACMX Python API. And then you'll be ready to start taking measurements. You do want to be uh, sure that you are using Windows, though, since this is not compatible with Linux or Mac OS at this time. And make sure you're using one of the compatible versions of Python or PyPy that are shown on this slide. All right, let's go ahead and jump into a demo. So what I've done is I've made a slight modification to my micro USB cable. Um, and I've wired it in the power to this uh, multifunction DAC device. This is a USB 6008. And I've wired it into the analog input zero channel here. And as the name suggests, it plugs into my laptop over USB. I've got it all plugged in, so we're ready to start taking measurements. Let's switch over to the code here. So if you're familiar with Python, you know that the first thing you want to do is import all of your modules and constants. So that's what we do here first, is we just import the uh, DACMX API module. Uh, next thing I do is I import a particular constant for terminal configuration. I'll explain more about why I do that in a minute. But then I import a graphing package just to be able to show you the data in a, in a graphing format. Uh, the next big thing I do is I open and I initialize a task, specifically an analog input voltage task. I reference my device 1, which is the USB 6002, and the analog input 0 channel that I mentioned I uh, wired in the, the power to. Then I have this terminal configuration here, and that's the constant I mentioned above. And that's just making sure that I change from differential, which is a default, to uh, reference single-ended. Uh, and that just has to do with the way that I've, I've wired in my uh, my uh, input. So then I have a while loop where I just read from the, the analog input every cycle, and I just graph it to, to the plot. So let's go ahead and run this. OK, so you can see uh, that the first thing we see is around 0 volts, which makes sense because it's not plugged in at all. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and plug it in. And then you'll see it jump up to around 5 volts, which is just about what we'd expect from a laptop's USB power output. 
So the great thing about this is that I would made very little changes to the example code uh, that we offer on our GitHub. I basically only had to add the um, graphing code just to make it a little bit more visual for this demonstration and then add that to terminal configuration because of the, the exact way that I'm wiring it in. So the base version of this is completely available as an example. Um, and so yeah, if you want to learn more, we, I have many different links in the description, links to our GitHub and our API documentation, and then some other helpful links to allow you to learn more. Thanks.